Hi, Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising sign. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope that you are well. I thought that I would do a uh, specific spread uh, for the upcoming Mercury retrograde. And the retrograde is um, going to occur on April 9th, and it will last until May 3rd. And I uh, thought that maybe the cards might uh, give us some insight on how to navigate the influences of the retrograde. And I'm sure that you probably know that a Mercury retrograde is about, um, it feels like the world is going backwards and, and things are out of sorts. And particularly with respect to communication, clear thinking, um, electronics, travel, uh, they say don't make any big decisions during a retrograde, so um, this influence can can impact us. And um, I think one of the things to do is to take a step back and to relax and to restore and to um, find some different ways to go with the flow during this time frame. So I have a little spread here that uh, I'll do a reading and pull some oracle cor cards for further clarification. So um, I've already shuffled off camera, so let's we'll go ahead and get started. Okay. And this says, the arrow master, hitting the mark, intention and detachment. So I have a lot of glare tonight. Oh, there we go. So the arrow master of hitting the mark and uh, what does that tell us? That tells us that this is a time to really hone in and to think about the direction that you're headed with respect to the things that you want to achieve or that you want to accomplish and take the time to really think about the target and hitting the mark means that you're focused. You're thinking about how you're going to execute the plan or uh, the actual stroke of drawing the arrow back and letting it fly. So it's the focus of keeping your eye on the target. Makes me think a lot of playing golf and, you know, keeping your eye on the ball, swinging at your target. Well, the same thing with the arrow master, which is a sense of uh, trusting yourself and your ability and your ability to do what you need to do to accomplish uh, your goals. And the piece here about detachment, it's really letting go of the outcome. You're going to give it your best shot. You've prepared. You've taken all the steps that you need to take in order to reach your goals. So if this is regarding trying to uh, incorporate more exercise into your life, this can be, you know, uh, using your iPhone apps to track, to outline for the week, how much time you can, you can spend exercising or going for a walk or going for a run. But it's really, uh, to me, it, it, the intention is the direct focus on the bullseye and hitting that bullseye or getting as close as you can as a result of the effort, the mindset, everything that you have put into it to trust uh, how you're going to do it. And so that is the part of um, uh, the intention and the mastery. The, he is the arrow master. It's being a master of your abilities. And everyone is unique. So uh, f for you to, really for you to uh, get in there, hone right in, direct your energy, take everything that you know and that you've incorporated into your life and let that arrow fly. And whatever the outcome happens, you know, you've put your best into it. And so I think that's a great message is that you are the arrow master. You direct the arrow. You control the flight. You control the energy behind it and the focus. So with this new moon and a sense of, of finding focus and really channeling forward. So let's take a look at body. Yeah. 
I apologize for the lights. My little, my lights in my room here are, are like gone wacky. They're way too bright. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Follow the light. <laughs> okay. Okay. So for our body, it says relationship. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for healing and guiding all of my relationships upon the path of love. So for this week, there we go. Let me see if I can get that closer. We're going to focus on our relationships. We're going to be mindful of how we speak to one another, how we treat one another, how we um, make time and make space for the relationships in our lives. And so if you've been meaning to get in touch with someone, uh, that you haven't take, you know, make the effort, text, email, make the call, uh, relationships, whether at the office or whether they are, uh, in your home with your partner, with someone that you love with a parent, you know, relationships take nurturing and they take, uh, thoughtfulness to be able to make them work and to make them work for both parties so that there's equal giving within the relationship. And so if you treat someone with gentleness and with kindness and with compassion, you know, that's a great start. Let's see, where can I do this? That's a great start for uh, any relationship and any sense of, um, you know, of what am I trying to say here of authenticity that when you are coming from a place of honesty, when you're coming from a place of reaching out and, uh, hopefully the person also reaches back to you. So that's not a one-sided situation, but when you reach out with your heart and with love, Hopefully you shall get that love back, uh, within the relationship. So for this week, not only are we, uh, directing our focus and, uh, using our intention to channel and to direct exactly what it is that we want to achieve. We are paying attention to our relationships and we're just, uh, being light and loving. I think that's a, just a simple way to think about what to do for the week. And now moving on to the spiritual self. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one is relationships as well. So let me read this. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life, how you feel and treat yourself as well as how you react and respond to different situations and the people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. This doggone glare. I'll figure this out eventually. <laughs> so here it's a week of relationships. It's a, uh, time to just ver be very mindful of the interactions that you have and relationships are so important within our life of what we get from others, from their positive energy, from their inspiration from their love and caring that, uh, it's simply a good practice and it makes sense to pay attention to how, you know, how your relationships are going. And by the same token, for the relationships that you think are not serving you, that are not helping, that are draining you or exhausting you, then Perhaps it's time for a, either a courageous conversation or B set it aside and focus on the people and the relationships in your life that are more equal, more harmonious and, uh, more reciprocating. 
So don't let the toxic relationships overwhelm the healthier relationships that you have. Okay, and finally, for the practice area, to practice. Okay, I'll just shuffle these here. I'll, um, this is one of my favorite decks, the Kyle Gray, what was it, Angel Prayers. Take time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here. Let's see if we can get this. How can I get this? There we go. That's better. So take time to breathe, which is really a gift to yourself. And with life as it is, where we have so much to accomplish, so much that we want to do personally, professionally, uh, in all aspects of trying to keep it together. We often forget to take the time out to rest, to recover, and to catch our breath. So taking time to breathe, whether it's a vacation, whether it's a walk in nature, and taking in some vitamin D and some fresh air, or maybe it's quiet time reading a book, in your little reading nook that you've created, or meditation, you know, however you define it, however you can catch your breath, however you can make the time to relax and to regenerate, because that's what breathing does. It gives us the opportunity to restore. And so I think it's a great um, practice to do, and it doesn't have to be hours. It could be five minutes here, maybe another 10 minutes somewhere else, but making time for yourself to breathe. So I think that these are lovely messages and I'll just, um, you know, arrow master, which is focus your energy, keep your eye on the target, set your intention and go for it. And, uh, let go of the outcome because if you've put in your best, then the result will be what it will be. And hopefully it'll be right on the bullseye. We have two cards relating to relationships. Let's see if I can get that. And so pay attention to relationships this week and how they're going and um, honor the, the friendships and the relationships that really make you feel happy and joyful. And, uh, just take time to show appreciation for them and for the relationships that are not helping do something about it, you know, make them take less space of your life and create less friction within your life. And finally, take time to breathe, make the time for yourself. There we go. Make the time for yourself to breathe, to catch your breath and to restore. And that'll certainly help in all areas of your life. So I hope that you found something helpful here today. And I just wanted to do this video. Uh, it's a little quicker for me to do it just sitting here and to show the cards like that. So if you found it helpful, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and like, share or comment, let me know how you're doing. And I thank you so much for watching and I'm very grateful and I hope you have a terrific week. Take care. Bye-bye.